Well, hello, Scorpio. This is Queen Sunkiss with Sunkiss Spiritual Consulting, and we are here to give you your Gemini season reading. So, if you could go ahead and hit that like button, click to subscribe, and while you're doing that, I'm going to make sure that all your cards are upright so that we can shuffle them and get started. One second. Anyway, while I'm doing this, I should go ahead and let you know what's going on in Cosmos. Um, for Scorpio, let us see. Scorpio. Nope. You have nothing going on in your houses, so that's not a concern. <clears throat> But what is happening in Gemini season is we have Mercury moving into its home sign of Gemini. So that's going to play up that Gemini energy, that very intellectual conversation energy. It is the uh, season of spring. We're coming to the end of spring, so we're getting ready to go through a transition. So in addition to that, later on in the season... Um, Venus will be moving into the sign of Scorpio, joining Mercury. So we're looking at financial gains, maybe wealth, communication, flirty communication, talks of relationship, talks of gaining wealth, new contracts, things of that nature happen around that third house or wherever Gemini is in your personal natal chart. You want to pay attention to those energies. Day-to-day -day travel should not be a problem unless you are adversely affected by um you know the gemini energy or the um um mercurial energy you know so pretty much looking at good you know business things to come out of um this particular season, okay? So, um, when we got those up right, what we're gonna do, spirit of the card, please come through and give us a message. Everything that loves Scorpio wants to see Scorpio progress, progress. Please bring us a message. Show us what is and what will be for the sign of Scorpio in Gemini season. Please show us what is and what will be for the sign of Scorpio in Gemini season. Okay, we just go shuffle basically until the spirits tell me to stop. Or the cards give me a sign that it's okay to stop. You want to make sure you get the proper message that you are supposed to have, Scorpio. So, we don't have anything going on in the house of Scorpio. Not even any asteroids. So, I'm just going to really focus on these energies. Mostly what I'm looking for is just to be talking about things centered around your work or how you make your money. It is the messages that I'm expecting from these cards since we are talking about Gemini season, okay? But we'll see because sometimes we have relationships come up and other things, you know. But we're going to shuffle it up and figure it out, okay? I think this is going to be our last shuffle here. And maybe one more time. All right, we're done. Let's lay them out. This is your first house, the house of I am. This is how you want people to see you. Um, second house, your resources. Third house, communication. Fourth house, home, early childhood. Fifth house, entertainment, extended family. Sixth house, work and uh, service, community service, volunteer work, etc. Seventh house, house of partnerships. Eighth house, house of death and regeneration. Ninth house, <clears throat> house of abstract thinking, foreign travel, and, um, you know, higher um, um, technology, okay? Tenth house is the house of public standing and your career. Eleventh house, hopes and dreams and friendships. And twelfth house is the spiritual house of... Spiritual message, self-undoing, self-sabotaging, things of that nature. Let's get started, Scorpio. You come in with the five of swords. You come in with loss. 
So you come in with people basically seeing you as somebody that has lost something. When we come in with swords, that's the first thing I automatically think of when I see swords is there is some type of conflict that is going on because after all, sword is a weapon of war. We use those to fight. For some odd reason, Scorpio, you are not quite feeling yourself, though you may never tell anybody this because Scorpio is good at hiding those emotions. But there is some loss or a separation. This could be a relationship or this could be something else, okay? But there is a conflict and it is because of an unrealistic attitude. It may be yours or the people that's around in the situation. But if you maintain a realistic attitude, meaning... If you need to get grounded, please get grounded. That's going to be very necessary for people not to see you as this person that is defeated and has low self-esteem and low confidence. But that's how you come in. Let's keep going and see if this gets any better for you, Scorpio. In the houses of resources, you have in um, um, the Seven of Swords. So you need to watch out when it comes to your money because somebody is trying to take something from you. This is a death card in my opinion. However, always it doesn't mean that you are being stolen from. It could also mean that you are taking back something that belongs to you. Are you going to get caught? Will there be justice? These type of things. This is what you want to think about, but this is happening around your resources. So you want to pay attention to how you make your money and what's going on around there. <sighs> In the house of communication, you come in with the page of swords. Again, we see swords again. I'm telling you, swords bring conflict and all of this type of thing. But you have pages. Pages also bring messages. So you have an aggressive and challenging things that are coming to you. Okay? So some of those emotions that you may have been hiding and may not have come to the surface, let me tell you, they are events that are going to, to bubble up it's going to come out and you're going to have to fight and make changes to solidify your position scorpio okay um you also have um some it's gonna be unexpected news that come in in a way that you do not expect um just know that you need to rely on your intelligence because this is a sword we are talking about thoughts you need to rely on your intelligence in order to overcome whatever this obstacle or this problem that is going to arise is then we go over here to the fourth house as far as home goes you're doing pretty good you come in with the strength card this is leo energy fire energy is basically saying that you have the strength the tenacity the endurance to go ahead and do whatever it is that you need to do so whatever this um, conflict is that's coming up for you, Scorpio, know that you can overcome it. Know that you are able to produce the willpower and you have the energy to go ahead and withstand the battle, okay? It's not like you're going to be defeated or if things are going to um crumble for you or anything like that you're going to be able to you have the willpower and tenacity to move through whatever it is in the fifth house this is a house where you find entertainment it's also the house where you find extended family and things of that nature you come in with the two of pentacles two of pentacles is talking about fluctuating wealth okay there needs to be some type of change or something that's going on with you if you need to take advice from a uh, person that you value, a mentor or something to help you get back on track so you're not always in this proverbial state of up and down, up and down, up and down, then please do that because um, being unstable up and down, they can be tiresome, it, 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 it can be very stressful, okay? But you're going to have to work at maintaining your balance because after all, this is Capricorn energy that we are looking at. So you may have to do a lot of balancing as it occurs between your entertainment, your social life, and your things that, uh, your responsible life, okay? Um, sixth house, the house of works and service. Usually we talking about your job here, but this is also 
volunteer work and things of that nature you come in again with another sword okay it's a lot of conflict going on around you we talk about capricorn and aquarius energy so it's a lot of out of box thinking and there is a lot of hard work that's going in too you are at work being looked at or you may be looking at an authoritative male okay this is a person that believes in exacting justice and making sure that everything is in order if this is not you in this leadership position this is somebody that is going to help you actually realize and actualize whatever your dreams are for whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish this is somebody that you should probably listen to you also have an element of opposition that's going to try to stop you in your um endeavors okay again rely on that intellect that you have to go ahead and break through this barrier because relying on your intellect and go ahead and persevering is going to let people know that you are the leader that they think you are coming in in the house of partnerships you have the four of wands very good cards to have when it comes to looking at relationships we are talking about stability we are talking about uh just harmony life um and also again leadership you'll take the leadership role in whatever partnership that you have going on i'm gonna say mostly in your romantic partnerships but ones can also represent work relationships as well either way it go you scorpio are looked at as the leader okay and because you are a leader it is important that you go ahead and complete any and every task that you need to complete in order for things to be okay although you have conflict coming up around you you are actually going to be fine you are destined to go ahead and um you know be successful especially if in a romantic partnership okay um the eighth house of death and regeneration you come in with the ace of swords all right so basically aces come in they talk about new beginnings all right and so you have new beginnings as it pertains to you know rebuilding and things that you need to get rid of things that you need to clear things that you want to keep you have new beginnings coming into this there is an inventiveness about you this is because of your um your vast intellect okay and also at this time you may be looking at a birth of a child of some sort okay maybe yours maybe somebody around you expect news that somebody may possibly be pregnant if that's not for you it's just saying that there is something new um either work-wise or creative wise or something that's going to inspire you that is going to bring a new beginning for you as long as you sit back and you plan ahead for what is to uh come and you go ahead and do your duty to um make sure that you carry it out you'll be absolutely fine okay coming in the ninth house this is very interesting coming in this ninth house because the ninth house is talking about communication abstract thinking and traveling and what you have is the hangman long-term energy so whatever this change that you are going through this is um <clears throat> uh, telling you that sometimes it's just best to sit back and observe not participate but just observe what's going on around you this is that neptunian energy so because there is so much energy and there's so much thoughts going on around you sometimes you just have to make yourself sit still and make sure that what you see is actually what you see it's not as dark as the um hermit but it is still saying that you need to take some time and just absorb the surroundings around you because if you rush something you know it's not going to produce the result that you want and sometimes you have to do some things sacrifice some things in order to see the greater good so even though you may not like what is happening you may not like what you feel like you have to do go ahead and make that sacrifice so you can be in a better position okay in the 10th house you come in with the nine of swords now 
<clears throat> because you have all these other swords on the table, I can say this, this particular conflict that you are having, one is going to probably end within Gemini season, but it's not going to end without keeping you up at night. Um, you might even have a little touch of uh, depression while you go through this, okay? Um, it's going to end. This burden is going to be lifted off of your shoulder, okay? Um, if any of you have any mental disabilities or anything like that, you want to make sure that you are addressing those. You want to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. You want to make sure if you're on medication that you are swallowing your medication. You need to do this because if you push yourself into a position where you start being down on yourself for what's going on around you, then you end up getting into things like depression and then you, you might become overly paranoid, which is why you have to go back to this ninth house and understand that it's important that you just sit back and take yourself out the picture and just observe everything that's going on around you. In the 11th house, the house of hopes and fears, what you are hoping is that you can be enterprising. You want to be able to do work that's going to bring you satisfaction and happiness. And the three of swords is just that. This is leadership energy. You want to be a leader. Well, you're not too far from that. People already see you with a leader, but with leadership comes great responsibility. And sometimes the responsibility can be very heavy. Do know this, you do not have to travel alone. You do have good energy around you, just even if you have to take solace in your partnerships. If you feel like it's a lot of conflict going on at work or however you collect your money, that is okay because you have a solid partner at home that will hold you down and help you through those times, okay? What is going on? Oh, coming in with the 12th house, you have the Empress. This is basically saying that you're going to have everything that you need, everything that you want, everything that you desire, even though you are looking at a lot of conflict. You have a lot of conflict out here on this table. Um, it's like it's dang near inevitable. But at the end of it all, through all the pain, through all the trouble, through all the turmoil, through all the mental challenges and all of that, you come in with the empress. And the Empress says, hey, I have all of my stuff and everything is beautiful and well for me. And that is what you're going to have to realize as you go through this transitional season into summer. By the time summer comes, you should be sitting nice and pretty like the Empress with all of your things in tow. If you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you like a personal reading for your own self, then click the link in the description box. And until next time, stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light.